Charles Best knew he was destined for a career in medicine, but he had no idea of just how quickly he would make an impact on the field. The son of a country doctor, Best had just finished an honors degree in physiology and biochemistry when he was asked to assist Frederick Banting in a summer of research. There were no funds for the project, just 10 dogs supplied for the work, and Banting could offer no salary to the young man. But Best had a strong interest in diabetes and gladly signed on for the summer in the labs of Dr. J.R.R. McLeod. Best's careful, methodical approach to chemical assays and the purification of chemical extracts were the perfect balance to Banting's intuitive genius. Success was assured by summer's end and Charles Best went confidently into first year medical studies at the University of Toronto. By the time he was finished, he had also acquired a PhD and at the age of 30, he had replaced his benefactor, Dr. McLeod, as head of the Department of Physiology at the University of Toronto. Working through the Banting and Best Institute, he continued as a successful researcher, isolating heparin. With Dr. D.W.G. Murray, Charles Best proved heparin to be an effective anticoagulant. Like Banting, Best worked at wartime research, earning the thanks of all who went to sea. The majority of his efforts were involved in the study and prevention of seasickness. Unlike Banting, Best lived to enjoy a long and productive life to die at the age of 79 with the gratitude and admiration of his country. <laughs>